still dancing with masks so what you can bathe through your eyes is everything and yeah it was it was just amazing and I can't stop smiling about it seriously like I haven't had such an amazing time in a dance class since I don't even remember because for a long time we weren't allowed to dance in the studio and then it was low intensity and then some of the classes I did previously I just didn't think I was doing my best like I could not pick up what I needed to pick up and I couldn't, I just couldn't follow along. But this time, I picked it up. I really just decided to have fun with it. And I'm glad it was a very like groovy, party time kind of vibes. Yeah, I just, I needed to vlog this moment because I just felt so good about it. And that's all I can say. I'm like, I'm smiling the entire time I'm talking about this. And these are one of those moments where I'm like, this is why I dance. This is, it brings me so much joy. Like I've had a, rough couple of weeks I would say just really stressing about all of my work stuff and it's already July which is crazy in 2021 but restrictions trying to ease a lot more in DC so um, a lot of people are seeing each other for the first time actually our class was pretty packed today which is a very uncommon thing um, it's like the first time I've been in such a packed class in a long time and uh, luckily, we're all still wearing masks, which I'm really happy about, and I'm still glad that they're enforcing it at our studio, because technically it is not mandated anymore, especially uh, for those that have double vax, but it's hard to tell, you know, it's not like people go and put their vaccination cards on their foreheads or anything, so how are you supposed to know? If you are in the Vancouver area, go check out my studio, or not my studio, it's a studio I frequent. Um, they have amazing faculty that have so much to teach and energy is insane regardless of whether it's like a slower song or like a party song like today um and yeah if you haven't danced before try it i mean i technically didn't start dancing i guess more regularly until this last year so if you put your mind to it you can do it and yeah it's like a great way to sweat i'm like dripping it's disgusting i'm sorry tmi but whatever i'm just so happy i'm so so happy with it and <sighs> All right, I should probably focus on driving home now, so toodaloos, I will talk to you guys in the next snippet.
Thank you. She give to us. <laughs> Happy My wonderful friend Sarah got us all a single sunflower to kind of like congratulate us for our graduation. So I'm gonna put this pretty little flower into just giant vase because that's all I have. So yeah, hopefully it'll stay nice for a couple days, but I know with flowers, they just don't last that long, unfortunately, but it'll be nice to stare at and my mom loves flowers. So I think she'll really enjoy having this in the kitchen. So prettily wrapped, but this must come undone. And like my friend Sarah said, normalize getting flowers for your besties, because why not? Here's Jenna Benna. She's my she's my friend. Yes. Hi. Honestly, I'm doing really well, really well, really well. That's good. When's the next week gonna come? Actually, probably like this weekend. Yeah. Oh wait, the end of the weekend is like tonight. But, oh my God, you heard it. You're I'll first. say I'll say it by Wednesday. Last run, baby. Woo! Good job, everybody. All right, y'all. Wow. It's been a long, long season, yeah. last run. Honestly, I'm super happy with how we did. And yeah. uh, we're ready to F it up. Here we go. Purr! Oh, <laughs> 